Do you want to know how to protect your flock from predators? I'm going to give you some tips on what I do to protect my chickens. Let's start by talking about fencing. Fencing is really important to protect your chickens. You want to have a fence around your chicken coop so that way they have a safe area around their chicken coop that is predator proof. The fencing that I use is pallet fencing followed by some goat fencing on the interior to keep the smaller chicks from being able to go through the pallet fence. It's also extra protection as well. I also do a predator apron. What I mean by a predator apron is that you want to dig down below your fence line and you want to put your fencing buried underneath the soil so that it is attached to your fencing, your upright fencing, and then it's going down a foot and then it's coming out another two feet. That way you can put the soil back over it and if a predator is trying to dig under to get into your chicken run, they are going to hit that apron and not be able to dig on through. So I have the predator apron around the entire fencing where the chicken coop is. I also have fencing around my entire backyard property that also has the predator apron because I am partially surrounded by woods on two sides of my property and I want to make sure that I have those predator aprons just to keep the predators outside of the fence line from coming into my backyard. That's not going to stop larger predators from being able to come over the eight foot privacy fence that I have around the entire yard as well as the eight foot tall pallet fencing that I have. But that's where my livestock guardian dogs come in. I've trained my St. Bernard and my French Mastiff to protect my chickens and protect my goats. And so they are out here making sure that my animals are safe. The dogs do not sleep outside at night. They sleep in the house and I have the goats and the chickens safely locked away in their predator proof chicken coop and predator proof goat shed. So that way they're all tucked away at night when predators are out to make sure that they are safe. How I make their coop safe is I make sure that it is locked at night. The locking mechanism I make sure is predator proof. I have a window in the chicken coop but I cover the window with hardware cloth so that way I can open and close that window as I please but the outside has hardware cloth to prevent a predator from coming through the screen. I also have an outdoor camera positioned on the outside of my coop that detects movement as well as solar powered motion activated lights that are on my chicken coops as well as my goat shed and along my fencing. This can detect movement from predators and the light flashes on which can scare them off. Over the top of your chicken run, it is ideal to have either a netting to keep aerial predators out or to do hardware cloth or a strong fencing over the top. That would help to protect against aerial predators and climbing predators. So those are some options you can do. I typically put netting over. This winter was tough on my netting. I have to get my netting fixed and back up. When they're out free ranging, that's a different story. So when they are out in the yard, I'm with them and I have my Livestock Guardian dogs out with them. They also are provided with places that they can hide from aerial predators. So they like to go underneath the tractor. They also like to go underneath my deck and there's the playground that they hang out under which will block a aerial predator's vision of them and allow them to hide under that if there was ever a hawk attack. But honestly, what makes me feel even safer when they are free ranging is the fact that I have two roosters that are protecting my flock. Those roosters are on high alert watching the sky while the hens are pecking around looking for bugs. Those roosters are both watching the sky, watching the surroundings, and they have a special call that they make if they see a hawk and they alert the hens and the hens know, even the pullets know. When the roosters make the call, they all congregate together. The roosters will move the flock to a safe area and they will stand in front of that flock 
and guard them to make sure that they are putting themselves between the flock and the predator. I do like that the roosters are very protective of the hens. I also feel like it reduces the stress on my hens because they can just enjoy pecking away looking for bugs and not be worried about predators because they know the roosters are on alert. The roosters are going to protect them. I am very happy to have two roosters. This is Clifford. Clifford and his brother T-Bone. They make a great team in protecting our flock. They alert our hens when there's hawks nearby. So I'm really happy to have them as part of our predator control measures. I do like to give snacks to my chicky babies, but I do make sure once they're finished eating that snack that I take the plate away, that I pick up anything that they haven't eaten, which they typically don't leave much behind, but there's the occasional snack when I try something new that they're just not a fan of, like oranges. That didn't go well. <laughs> if I give them a snack, I make sure I clean up that snack. I don't wanna leave a can of sardines out in the yard that the smell's gonna attract a predator. No predator proofing is gonna be 100%, but trying to implement as many as you can can really help up the safety of your flock and give you peace of mind as well. Just stay vigilant. I recently had some increase in hawk activity on my property. I had one owl decoy that I have on my chicken coop that has served me well over the years to keep hawks from flying over the chicken coop. It has a bobblehead that moves with the wind. It keeps hawks away from the chicken coop area, but the yard where they're free ranging, I was noticing the hawks were flying over that area and they were perched in the tree watching my chickens. So I went to Tractor Supply and I bought another owl decoy and I put that up on my deck and that is now in my planter on my deck watching over the yard while my chickens are free ranging. And so far, since I put out that owl decoy, I have yet to see another hawk flying over my property. I hope that is a trend that continues. If not, I will be implementing even more measures, whether that's gonna be a different decoy, I might put something over in the garden, maybe even a scarecrow, I don't know. I'm always trying to come up with other ideas, other ways, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them, and anything to keep our chicky babies safe is something that I am strongly for. <laughs> if you'd like to see more videos, I've got plenty more for you. Definitely check those out. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now you're learning to farm like me. There is so much more to see. If you're planning on heading elsewhere, Bangi Yui, yeah, yeah, yeah. This really is the place to be. What are you waiting for? Get your farm on. Whoa.